We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actor Bo Hopkins. He's known for his roles in such movies as the Western The Wild Bunch in 1969, directed by Sam Peckinpah, with William Holden, Ernest Borgnine, Robert Ryan, Edmund O'Brien, Ben Johnson, Warren Oates, Struther Martin, L.Q. Jones, and Dub Taylor. Also in American Graffiti, 1973, this was directed by George Lucas, produced by Francis Ford Coppola, with Richard Dreyfuss, Ron Howard, Paula Matt, Charles Martin Smith, Candy Clark, Mackenzie Phillips, and Cindy Williams. He was in Midnight Express, a 1978 prison drama, with Irene Miracle, John Hurt, Paul L. Smith, Randy Quaid and Peter Jeffrey. So I took a look at so I took a look at Bo Hopkins. I thought he may resemble actor Robert Vaughn and possibly another or a group of others. In some pictures I think he may look like actor James Brolin. There's a big link here through the soap opera television series on ABC Hotel which ran from nineteen eighty three until 1988. James Brolin was in this and in season 1 episode 3 entitled Charades which aired in 1983 Robert Vaughn guest starred. Ron Eli and Dick Van Patten also in this. Bo Hopkins himself was in an episode of Hotel season 1 episode 19 entitled Encores. This aired in 1984. Singer Engelbert Humperdinck guest starred in this episode. All right, connections. Both Bo Hopkins and Robert Vaughn present in the cast of the war film The Bridge at Remagen, 1969. Also in this was George Segal, Ben Gazzara, and Matt Clark. Alternatively, I thought Bo Hopkins may resemble Robert Vaughn and possibly actor Charles Napier. All right, connections. Charles Napier and Robert Vaughn, both in the cast of The Blue and the Gray, a television miniseries on CBS, which aired in 1982. Three episodes. Also in this were actors Stacy Keach, Lloyd Bridges, Gregory Peck. I think one of the big links to those who may resemble Bo Hopkins, it may have something to do with rock and roll musician Elvis Presley. You can see a lot in uh, American Graffiti, I think. The song Crying in the Chapel by Artie and Daryl Glenn. This is featured on the American Graffiti soundtrack. And Elvis Presley recorded a very well-known cover of this song. Actress Candy Clark of American Graffiti, also in The Big Sleep, 1978, with Robert Mitchum. According to some accounts, Mitchum almost had Elvis appear in the 1958 crime film Thunder Road. Producer Francis Ford Coppola, known for the Godfather series from 1972. Actor Marlon Brando starred in this. Yeah, Elvis was acquainted with Brando. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.